Hi fellows, welcome to this video. Do you ever wonder why you cannot have a full day conversation with ChatGPT? And you always have to end the conversation with the session or the session will happen after you have a long enough conversation. Well, that is because the model behind ChatGPT, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 has maximum length of tokens that you can interact with and even though it's a very large number of tokens already you are still not able to have a full day conversation with it because it will exceed the maximum limit so that is what this paper recently proposed by MIT and Meta trying to resolve it's called streaming LLM efficient streaming large language model with attention sync the problem statement goes as the following the currently potential of large language model is constrained by their ability to handle long sequence generation. For example, currently the state of the art GPT-4 is only able to perform 8K tokens and LAMA2 is only able to do 4K. With that limitation, you're not able to have a full day long conversation with the chatbot. And one of the reason it's constrained by that is because the attention window during pre-training is limited. Therefore, it has a limited number of tokens that it can ingest or it can use during the, the inference, during the time you're talking to the model. As we can see here, there are several different ways to resolve it currently prior to the proposal of this paper. The first one, dense attention, that is just the Valina, the original way of doing it. And obviously, if you pack in too much tokens, it will go out of memory. So it has poor performance on long text. The next method is called window attention. The idea is very simple. The model cannot handle so many tokens. How about let's just use a sliding window? Well, that performs well initially until the window starts to slide and the tokens start being evicted. Then the performance drops drastically. The next approach is called sliding window with recomputation. This method works pretty well, however, it has one of the biggest issues, which is you have to recompute. And what that means is the complexity goes off the roof. It's a quadratic attention in context recomputation, make it impossible to productionize. So it only exists in research. Therefore, the researcher at MIT and Meta proposed this method called Streaming LLM. The genius of this model is that it's a small modification of the window attention by only keeping, by keeping the initial token while doing initial field token while doing the sliding window. And by doing that, it's able to perform just as well as the sliding window with the computation model but with much, much better computation complexity, which means you can use this in production, which means it will not be extremely slow when you talk to it. So let's look at the intuition why keeping the initial token will drastically improve the model performance in the streaming setup. Streaming here refers to having basically unlimited amount of tokens feeding to the model as input. So there are two potential explanations of why the initial token help with the model. One is they are semantically very important because they're the beginning of the sentence. The other potential reason is that the model learns a bias towards their absolute position. So to me, the first one makes a lot more sense. However, the researcher of that proposed this paper did the experiment by replacing the initial tokens in the streaming LLM architecture with line breaker token, simply a slash n. 
and the observation indicates that the model still performs comparably well when you use the actual original token. So what that implies is the drastic model performance improve, improvement with you by using initial token comes from the model learning the relative position to those initial tokens. Again, this graph, this diagram here further illustrates the streaming LM architecture by keeping the initial four token and doing a, a sliding window on the later tokens, it's able to achieve much, much better performance than the original sliding window design and it's comparable to the sliding window with recomputation. The researcher also did the experiment by comparing the streaming large language model architecture with a couple baselines. One of them is the dense attention model. And obviously this one will go out of memory if you feed it with too much input text. The other one is simply sliding window. As we can see, the accuracy dro drops drastically and it's not even comparable to the streaming LLM architecture. So all the numbers you see here are accuracy. The baseline model is called a sample by sample one shot. My understanding of that is instead of feeding the model with a full super long context, it breaks the input sample by sample into a digestible size so that the model can understand. Essentially, you're manually breaking the input into smaller digestible contexts for the model. And as we can see, streaming LLM is comparable to that result. So this is super impressive. And what this means is our initial hypothesis that we want something that can perform a long form conversation is possible. We're, with this architecture in place, we're able to talk with Chabot, a GPT-like Chabot for a whole day without being kicked out of a session. So what are some of the limitations? The limitations is that they realize while the model can perform long form conversation, it doesn't really perform better or worse when you adjust it doesn't really perform better when you increase the cache size, which, mean, which indicates that the model doesn't really fully utilize the entire context. So that is the future research direction that people can work on to further improve model understanding of a long context. Regardless, this is an amazing model that definitely changed the paradigm. I would like to end this video by asking my audience a question. Do you think streaming LLM can replace the retrieval augmented generation architecture? So for context, retrieval augmented generation means to bypass the, the 4K or 8K token constraint, you basically feeding a very small amount of input and retrieving from a vector database to get the context. For example, I want to ask a question about a book instead of feeding the whole book to a model, which is infeasible. I put the whole book, chunk them into different text embeddings, and I feed my questions context into that vector database, and I take out the context and I augment my question with that context to the model. Do you think streaming language model can outperform the retrieval augmented generation? My opinion is that as we're heading to that direction, it is very likely possible, even though this architecture proposed by in this paper may not does exactly as well as RAG, it is definitely possible in the future. So that's it for this video. 
Thank you for listening and thank you for your support. Hope you find this video informative and helpful.